little side shot. I'm already slimming down. I don't know how much my booty sweat. I'm proud of myself. Guys, I took a personal day yesterday because I got really discouraged. Great workout, right Jess? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, this journey has been emotional for me. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my postpartum weight loss journey. This program is four weeks long. I'm currently on day three. Um, day one, I did a leg blaster. And let me tell you, my legs are still blasted from that day. And then yesterday I did um, active rest. So on a bike ride, whatever, for 30 minutes. And then today is arm day. Um, I just finished my dynamic stretches and I'm already tired from that. Um, it is currently, what's the weather? 87 degrees. Um, I have on a long sleeve, a sweat vest, and a waistband thing because the sweat vest is too big. I got this workout plan from a friend that we made in Jamaica. Insert picture here. That's him, <laughs> if I did that right. <laughs> this workout is intense. Like the first day I couldn't even finish because my legs just gave out. And that's how out of shape I am. I also um, got a new scale that Houston suggested to get. Um, I'll put the link in the description for that. And it literally calculates like your water weight, your body percentage fat, like your BMI, your metabolic age and mine is 30 and I'm only 24 and that's not okay. Um, so I need to get into shape. Four weeks, I'm ready to do it. But like I said, today is arm day. Um, I'm gonna do a three minute ab circuit and then I'm gonna get started on my arms. Mommy. What are you doing? I want to do a good exercise with you. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, we're gonna do a jackknife. What, what's a jackknife? Okay, you go like this, like this, and then, oh man, like this. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of a sweat reveal here. First of all, look at that. Not too much sweat on the back, but this is disgusting. Oh, bye bye, belly. <laughs> Look at this and this pits. Oh, my. That is gross. <laughs> Just did another 30 minute bike ride. Sorry, Jeremiah is screaming in the background. Already again, my sweat and diamond. A little side shot, I'm already slimming down. Wow. Just finished 30 minute bike ride and now I'm riding with Mariah. Whoa! Whee! It was bugs flying all in my mouth and nose. I'm tired. What you said?
Hi guys, it's day 10. Um, I'm really not feeling working out today. Aunt Flo is back for the first time ever since I gave birth to Jeremiah. So it's like kind of beating me up. Um, and I'm just very tired and it's raining, drizzling, whatever. But I got dynamic stretches and an two sets of ab circuit and then these arm workouts. So let me just get her done, I guess. I don't want to. All right, guys. Say hi, Mariah. How's your, how, how's your exercising? My exercising was good. Thanks for asking. All right, guys, I just finished my 30 minutes of cardio. I did another bike ride. It's the easiest thing for me to do with my um, ITBS and knee issues. And today was the fastest I've ever gone because usually I can do like two laps around my neighborhood and end up right back in my driveway at like 31 minutes. But today I had to add an extra chunk and I did that in 30 minutes and 28 seconds. I'm proud of myself. <sighs> that was a good one. All right guys, it is day 12. Justin is on the way home. I'm gonna try to get my dynamic stretches in before Mommy. he gets here and then I'll do my actual workout once he is home. Um, Jeremiah is right there playing. Oh, here, and that's my grandma. So hopefully he's like occupied so that I can actually get something done. Y'all, it is so human. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Hello guys, this is my mother-in-law, Christine. You guys have seen her before, but we came up to Wisconsin for Father's Day weekend to visit Justin's family and the workouts don't stop. Christine has a Planet Fitness membership, so she got me in today and we killed it. 30 minutes on the elliptical for her. I did 30 minutes on the rower, which was hard here. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> but yeah, checking out for the day. I still have to do my stretches and my yoga. I don't know how much my booty's sweating. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of butt sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're heading back to the house and it was a good workout, right? Right. Right. <laughs> was it <laughs> all right guys it's our last day in wisconsin um and today we leave at like our flights at like eight o'clock so we're gonna go to the zoo before we head to the airport but before we do that i'm gonna get this workout in because i have no other time to do it so everybody else is inside eating breakfast and i'm gonna do my workout um yeah. All right, guys, it is the morning of day 16. I'm about to do my two week weigh in. So I have not lost, I lost 0.2 pounds in the past two weeks. But my stomach has slimmed down to my, like, what I can see. I'm a little annoyed. It's because I feel like I've been putting in work and there's nothing to show for it on the scale. That doesn't make any sense to me. All right, guys, um, it is day 17. And um, not gonna lie to you guys, I took a personal day yesterday because I got really discouraged after my weigh-in. Um, yeah, it was hard to deal with just because I feel like my mind's always racing and then that weigh-in was kind of like the cherry on top of the cake in not a good way. So I kind of spiraled and had to take an emotional day because it was just really tough for me. Um, so I did not work out yesterday, um, but I'm gonna try to get in yesterday and today's workouts today. So I'm doing my cardio, my 30 minute bike ride now. And hopefully when Justin gets home, I'll be able to do um, the actual like exercise portion or whatever is going on for today but yeah um, yesterday that that was really discouraging because I feel like I've been working really hard to see no change 
um, on the scale kind of sucked, like really bad. But um, I'm not gonna let it stop me because I do have a goal, so I'll be back on it today. Okay, I went the second furthest distance in a 30 minute span that I've done yet, but I feel the absolute worst. Like I feel like I'm about to throw up and I had to lay down. What are you doing? Warming you up. You're warming me up or you're cooling me down? Thanks. Good best. Ouch. All right, guys. So I told you guys yesterday that I was gonna do my cardio in the morning and then do my exercise, which was legs, at night. But it did not work out because Justin had to get a haircut, so he got home late and had to work. Um, and by the time the kids were all settled down and everything was clean for the night, it was like 10:45, and I did not feel like doing no leg blasters at 10 45 p.m. Weirdo. So to make up for it, I just did a 45 minute bike ride and did 8.3 miles. And let me tell y'all, it's hot today. It's brutal, brutally hot. It says it's only 86, but that's a lie. It's a lie. There's no way it's only 86 because I'm drenched in sweat. All right, guys, hello. It's currently 11 p.m. It's arm day. So, is it arm or upper body? Whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna try to get this done fast because we're supposed to be going to Disney tomorrow and I don't wanna be working out until forever and day. Let's just try to get this workout in real fast. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, so, um, I woke up early this morning because we're going to Disney today to do my 30 minutes bike ride for cardio. And guess what? The bike has a flat tire. So um, I went on YouTube, tired, and I searched up like 30 minute cardio and I found um, this channel called Grow With Joe. I'll put it right here. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did like the 30 minute walk slash dance thing. And let me tell y'all, I do not like, I'm not like a dancer. I don't like, I mean, I wasn't moving because it's a walk. I wasn't moving like super fast, but um, it worked. So, <laughs> all right guys, um, I just did 30 minutes of cardio. It is 10, 15 PM. I did the same little like dance walk thing that I did yesterday. I burnt 232 calories doing it, so. And I got very sweaty. But let me get in the shower room. Because Justin and I have a movie night to do. Whatever. I don't know. Let's see you tomorrow. And I believe it's leg day. Let me tell y'all. I don't want to do it. I'm so... What are you doing? I'm not motivated at all to work out. I know. Ooh. I know I need to strengthen my legs. So... This is actually kind of cute. <laughs> I'm not used to doing anything but cardio, really, and like a little bit of abs, but I'm just over it. I didn't tell y'all that I missed a day, not yesterday, the day before. It was a full body day, and we just did a lot that, and honestly, just working out did not happen. Um, but I did my 30 minute bike ride yesterday, and I foam rolled y'all. Foam rolling, literally worse than labor, worse than contractions. I felt like I was being stabbed and I don't know if I can do it again, but I know I have to. Yeah, I'm procrastinating really bad right now, but I'm just going to try to get this done as much as I can really fast. My leg really hurts from my IT band syndrome, but I'm going to try to get it done. Okay, guys, I just did the quick little 20 minute version of the workout because I'm honestly just uncomfortable. Like my leg pain is very, it's not even like pain, it's just discomfort. Like, and it's just heavy and uncomfortable. And it's honestly discouraging me because I feel like I can't even like do the exercises properly without being in like excruciating pain and discomfort. 
So 20 minutes is fine for today. I just need to get this pain and discomfort in my leg under control because I really feel like it's holding me back from being great. And it's not fair because I'm really trying. I really want to lose weight, but it's just, it's not there for me right now. It's not there for me. All right, guys, it's day 20, whatever it is. Justin just did the um, grow with Joe. Grow with Joe. Oh my gosh. Grow <laughs> with <laughs> Joe walking three miles in 30 minutes or whatever. And at first he was like, this is embarrassing, just like I said. But look at him glistening. What? <laughs> Raise your arm. Sweating. Look at that. I'm sweating. Sweating. Turn around. Let's see the back sweat. Let's see the back sweat. Oh, your whole entire back of your shirt is drenched. Yeah. That's gross. <laughs> but yeah, I, per usual, sweating because I have my sweat stuff on. Look at, I have these. Man. Okay, Ty's there. Ty's there in the house. <laughs> and there's Leah. My cousin's visiting us from Massachusetts. I'm sweating. It's burning my eyes. Great workout. Right, Jess? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Um, today is July 6th. And in the past three days, I think Thursday was the last day I talked to y'all and worked out just because Friday was the day before Jeremiah's party. Saturday was his party. Sunday was his birthday. And yesterday was um, recuperation day from being busy and exhausted all weekend. So I did not have a chance to work out. I probably could have fit it in here, in there, here and there, but it was just like, you know, my mind was racing and getting everything prepped and there's family in town and doing all this stuff. So um, Thursday night was the last night I worked out with Justin. And um, yeah, I plan on working out today. Hopefully when Justin gets home, I'll have a chance. I also haven't been drinking my gallon of water for the past, for those same days as well. So I'm getting into my gallon of water. Um, I have an appointment today at 1.30 with my doctor after getting some blood work done because she was concerned about my weight, yada, yada, yada. Um, so she made me do like a thyroid test and all this stuff just to make sure everything's okay. So I'll update you guys. All right, guys, hello. So I just got out of my doctor's appointment and you know, it's really annoying, let me tell you, that I've been working hard working out and everything and it doesn't show on the scale i talked to you guys about that a couple weeks ago um because i stepped on the scale for the first time and showed no weight loss at all and it still shows no weight loss even though it's been almost a month of me working out um and my doctor is just like you're obese you're obese and i've joked about it before um whatever but it, it's honestly like very frustrating and I was like holding back my tears in there talking to her because like, who the hell wants to be called obese? Like, I don't look, I don't look big. I mean, I have a little pudge here and there, you know, I'm a little thick in certain areas, come on. But like, to be called obese is so frustrating. Like I'm only 175 pounds. Granted, that's not where I wanna be. I do wanna weigh less because I do wanna be healthier. If weight loss means being healthier, then great. But like obese for real, like I have to be called obese over and over again. And basically she told me like what I've been doing is not working obviously if I don't see it on the scale. And she said that I need to change my diet, which I have, I've cut back a lot. With nursing, you do eat more because you have to provide nutrients to fill your breasts with milk to feed your child. But now that Jeremiah is one years old, I'm gonna dial it back obviously because he's gonna start drinking regular milk but like she told me that I'm that I'm, my brain is just telling me that I'm hungry and I'm not really hungry and I've been eating too much and I'm like I really haven't like I feel like I really have not been like I'm not as hungry anymore and I eat until I'm full not until I'm like stuffed or until I'm satisfied so like to be called obese is just so frustrating I feel like I've really been working hard and I've cut back my portion sizes already but I think what my next thing is gonna be is um Oh, she also talked to me about my IT band and how, how much pain it's been in. Um, and she wants me to work on it more, like doing more like exercises, not just like one day of leg day, plus the four days of cardio I've been doing. Um, so I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna do rehab more for rolling and everything like that. 
Um, but I'm just sick of being told I'm obese because I don't feel like I'm obese and I don't feel like I look obese. So just gotta work on this diet. I might do portion control diet again and see how it goes since I won't be nursing anymore. I won't need to eat as much, which was my struggle with this portion control diet before. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hello guys if you have made it this far thank you so much for watching this whole month-long process of me um working out and trying to lose weight um so let's break it all down i guess do a little conclusion here um the workout plan was good i appreciate how much thought houston put into it um and him checking in on me every week or so just to see how things are going um checking in on my injuries and stuff like that the only issue i have and it's just me my leg my it band is not strong enough to complete some of these workouts correctly and effectively so like my it band was holding me back so i need to focus on strengthening it strengthening oh my gosh strengthening it before i can like be able to do these workouts correctly effectively so that i'm actually losing weight because y'all saw that i did struggle to lose weight because i wasn't like doing i was doing the workouts but i wasn't doing them correctly so it wasn't helping me lose all the weight you guys know that um this journey has been emotional for me um as you guys saw like after my two week weigh-in when i saw i had lost any weight i was literally crushed like i cried I cried. I had a whole day that I was just like so like depressed like all day. And then after going to my doctor's office, like cried again. Because like you don't want to be told that you're fat. Like obviously I'm a little bit overweight. Are we all? No, we're not. <laughs> but like going through two pregnancies and being busy at home while not being able to like focus on my health is hard and like I said it was an emotional struggle so I'm not done yet though um it's been about a week since I started my portion control diet again and I'm down six pounds and that has been paired with exercising I'm doing a grow with Joe video almost every single night um Justin has joined me a couple of nights with the kickboxing ones that I've done her videos are great um so shout out with to grow with joe um i do need to pick back up again on rehabbing my leg i need to do stick on my foam roller and rolling up my leg and doing exercises that will specifically target my it band and strengthen my it band so that i can actually be active the way i want to be active and not only just do these like walking videos don't get me wrong those videos are great but i want to be able to keep up with justin and like work out to his level because when he works out with me i feel like he dials it back but i don't want him to have to do that um but yeah we're gonna keep it going i think i'm gonna do a little vlog of what i'm do what i've been doing every single day in regards to my portion control like what i'm eating um, so that you guys can see that and go along and continue going along with this uh, weight loss journey for me. But that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.